Hey guys, in this video, we'll be discussing the zones of cell growth in plants. There are two types of growth in plants. That is the primary growth, where the growth is upwards, vertical growth, upwards and downwards, and secondary growth, where the growth is outwards, horizontal growth. The type of plant tissue that is involved in the growth of plants, whether it is the vertical or the horizontal growth, is known as meristematic tissue. And there are two types of meristematic tissue. That is the apical meristematic tissue and we also have the lateral meristematic tissue. And so, let's begin with the shoot. Apical meristems are present in the shoot as well as the root. And the meristematic tissue that is present in the shoot is known as shoot apical meristem. Let's zoom into the shoot. This is what the shoot would look like. First, we start with this area here, right at the very tip of the shoot. And this is where the shoot apical meristem lies. Meristematic tissue are actively dividing by mitosis. This is how they multiply and initiate growth. And so, this zone where mitosis is taking place actively is known as the zone of cell division. The main activity taking place in the zone of cell division is mitosis. The number of cells is becoming much, much greater. Once that has happened, then the cells themselves will start increasing in size. And so we go to the second zone, and that is the zone of cell elongation. The cells are becoming longer. There's a special way that plant cells achieve cell elongation. They become bigger using the process of vacuolation. Plant cells have many small vacuoles and during the process of vacuolation what happens is the plant cell actually absorbs in water and nutrients into these vacuoles and you can see the size of the vacuoles increase. The vacuoles will become bigger after absorbing the water and the nutrients and what happens later is all these vacuoles will fuse together, will merge together to form one large central vacuole here. And this process, this whole process is known as vacuolation. So as the plant absorbs in water and nutrients, it enlarges in size. So the main thing that is occurring in this zone of cell elongation is the increase in the size of cell. So once the number of cells has increased and the size of cell has increased to a certain level, then it's time to specialize. So at this point, this cell has no specific function yet. It is just a general cell. What is going to happen next is, this general cell is going to develop certain special characteristics in order to perform specific functions. And this process is known as differentiation. So now the cell is ready to enter the zone of differentiation. And this is where cells become specialized to perform a specific task. And so in the zone of cell differentiation, you will notice that we have some special tissue. And this is the vascular tissue. This is the phloem, which is responsible for transporting nutrients and the products of photosynthesis. And here we have the xylem. The xylem is responsible for transporting water and minerals. And these have a specific task. And so that is the zone of cell differentiation. After the zone of cell differentiation, we have reached an area where there is permanent tissue. Permanent tissue consists of mature tissue. Mature tissue is plant tissue that has already differentiated. And therefore, it is able to perform various specific functions. This exact same pattern can be seen in the tips of the roots as well. Let's go to the roots. So at the tips of the roots, we have the root apical meristem. And this is where you will find the same zones of cell growth. First, we have this. This is the root apical meristem where mitosis is taking place actively. Cells are dividing, the number of cells are increasing. Once the number of cells increase, then we enter zone of cell elongation, where the size of the cells itself is becoming bigger through vacuolation. Once that is done, once the size has reached an optimum size, then we go into differentiation, where cells become specialized. 
in this zone, in the root, you can see that we have, once again, we have our vascular tissue. The one outside is the phloem again, and the one on the inside is the xylem. But now you can see one extra specialized cell in the root, and that is all these cells that are sticking out. This is known as the root hair cell. The root hair cell greatly increases the surface area for absorption of water in the soil. Once all the cells in the zone of cell differentiation has fully differentiated, then they become mature tissue as well. Then they become the permanent tissue in the roots of the plants. If you've learned something from this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button, guys. Thank you very much for doing that. It really does help the channel a lot, helps it to grow. And if you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one a week. See you guys in the next one.